hello guys welcome back to my channel to the master today i want to um talk on uh should i say a title a video that was requested by one of my um subscribers one of the members of this channel so you know i take i take them very seriously so i try my best to do anything they request for so um the request is for what and what like a guide for someone who wants to build their custom um create team to develop it so nevertheless i won't lie anything i'm showing you here my own team have um improved it this quick by using my sm credits yeah so this is just three years into the create club and i think i've achieved more than i should and that's because i've used sm credit but i think i might still have some ideas on what you can do and things that you can achieve and how you can grow the team without sm credit just that you might have to take now okay so this is is kind of the things that i have seen since you for normal team there's no much difference between developing your normal team and your quick and clubs your custom team just that the custom teams you are you are going to start somewhere that is so deep that you wouldn't know um you wouldn't know what else to do you are going to start somewhere that is so deep that it will take you hard and too much planning and too much work come out from but um the secret is that when your club is at that new level to maintain or to develop any of these facilities is very cheap it is way uh, less costly than when you are managing this club like for example if i'm to develop this training center now okay you sh i should have shown this when it was um at the level one before this club started growing now they are going to ask for a lot if I'm um, to develop it now. But if it were to be um, the first time, the first year of this club, I think it was around 25k, 25k in okay, the currency I'm using dollars to develop um, a, tra a stadium in sorry, my training facility. And you know that um, compared to what you have in other things, it's never like that. So that's the trick now. So I would suggest that you build your facility while you can not going to look for money first it becomes harder that we win and if you by any chance get any potential and you haven't build up your training center first then that potential will not be released either it um, stops you from the potential money you are supposed to make in the future or a potentially good thing that you're supposed to have now these are the most important facilities as you can see they are on um this thing on development right now so I don't really wait in the scout network since I go for my players, I go for what I want and get it when I want them. So the training, the club zone and the youth academy. Youth academy so that you can always get fresh players. Either you can train them into what um, you use in your team or you can sell them from one on to maintain the team. That's basically what I do. Then the club zone. The club zone I, I'm sure you know now but I would like to repeat. In the club zone how the group is in vitamins both how your um, health facility works and the amount of sponsorship you are going to get in also um for the case of this quiz club it's invest your investment too because um companies are to invest in the club as well so that is it for the facilities and you know now you know how very important the facilities are so you have to it has to be one of the best things to do to start hitting the ground and developing them. Now, I've talked about the transfers many and there's no club that is built on what they can provide by themselves alone. So you have to have a good transfer strategy to make the club big and then make it and um, keep running like from time to time. So the next thing to do is to go as you know they are not starting with a lot of money so you always go for the free agents there, is, there are always free agents and you go for the ones that your money can get now from the amount that this guy is going to cost now and you need to that i'm sure he's a good talent so i go for this guy these people but one thing is that at, at your first season at your first season I don't even have enough money for me. At the first season, 
the players who are very much in team. Many players who are going to come over to the club. That's it. And that's how it is. So you have to maybe go for the ones you can. I will wait for the next one. So you know, after you must have done a lot of work in your team. That's when you um, start considering making a move to your team. Then um, I'll talk about information a bit. Though I don't know if you are going to get the same players as myself when you get your when you start a custom team, but I've always been playing this target man formation. Now it's not just about getting the players, it's about how you manage them and how you move them in games to make sure that they are performing even even when it's happy. That's the only way you can be able to sell or you know make the club climb rank and turn you in. Now I'm playing the formation of the target man. You know that the team I've been getting is not good. So I just want to tell you but this is what I've been playing. Because once I have somebody that can score or tackle some goals in the front, then all attention is forwarded to him. Like all goals are going to him. So that makes me at least score enough for me to be considered as being there. And that way you can get a first second position in order to make him climb the move. And I'm sure that. Once you have climbed one step, like one move from the last to the bottom move, then you're in a way to progress. Because you have more players who think to join you, and by then you must have built up your new facility. You can get players to sell for a million or two. And also, um, yeah, you can also find some free agents that you can sell later. But let's finish up the information as you can see. Now I'm playing to target men, and that helps me with coming a lot of goals. I can show my, um, my goose coming record later if I can stop this. I have to show you information because I'm the request one. How he's going to build the team. So I think in building the team, information is part of it. And also you have to make sure that your team doesn't enter in that much of a depth because it's the fact. I know your club you have to make sure the fact. Now I know some of you will say um, this is because is this good player or that good player that's why he's getting all these good ones. Then I would like to show some this guy. This guy when I got him I I think he was fifty one or two. Um Louis Adriel. So these are one of the talents I got on free um I think yeah on free transfer. So that's why I like to um emphasize the importance of getting this free transfer players. So I don't know if free transfer as well. So when you say yeah, I really need to go buy a ticket because I have the money. Mm. So this is what that is what I like to say. After the first season, season two, Chelsea always allows Kai Havertz to go. So I always say that that's one of the first things I do. Once I'm sitting in this seat, like whether as a great club or any other team, I pick up Kai Havertz, even though he knows so well. The type of players I have in the club I'm managing at the time. I always tell him off. So I think he's a lot of things that is not happening at the club now. And first of all, first of all, he wants to play for the other club. I think his valuation should be more than me. But I think he's helping us to win. So that's one of the things you can get to have it. So make sure you have your opportunity to win when you want to buy him. I think you don't have much of a fascination then he would prefer staying at the club. Or oh, sorry, staying at the fair day. Now this is the board, okay, the board confidence. From, from the fact that I have gotten two promotions now, is it two promotions or one? They still don't trust me that much. So this is, you have to work harder. Can only really one more trust, one more trust is that. Um, okay, for more to uh, get trophy for that. So that's um that's what I think you should do to make your your first team club good. And also, if you should get one of these talents and you feel like yes, um, they cannot play for the team now, or they're not going to be that happy for you for you to score, they're not going to be doing that much. You need more money, or you need them to be better. Then you can put them on you. When they go this way, I think they get to better things where they can improve. They need better players and all that. Then they improve a 
the conductor club and their own free teams. So that's all I can say about creating and maintaining your um, custom team to great heights. So any questions you have any further questions can drop a comment section like the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so. I feel like